What's up everyone? Welcome back to another YouTube video. In this video, we are going to be going over building your first Electron Vite program. Uh, this was requested by a user in my comments in a previous video. Um, so we're going to quickly go over uh, how to build your own application using Electron Vite. Um, something I like about Electron Vite is that when you build it, it automatically configures an installer for you. So that way when you double click on the application, it installs everything that you need like with a traditional Windows application installer. Um, some of that's not readily available to people out of the box with some other boilerplates using Webpack, so it just it's very nice to use Vite for things like this. So first things first, um, I'm currently using the boilerplate from the uh, React Redux video, so if you haven't checked that video out, go ahead and you check that out. Again, you don't need it. You can just set up a blank boilerplate to be able to follow along with this. Um, there are going to be portions in this video that um, we do utilize some things from that video or that we comment out um, and make changes to from that video. So that way, if you're still following along in this kind of, you know, not, not series, but yet series in a sense. So some things we need to know about building with the Electron Vite boilerplate here um, is we have a build. Uh, so not sure why that was there. But we have scripts inside of our package.json. Um, the script that we are going to be targeting this video is this build script. Um, that runs TSC, uh, with the Vite build and Electron Builder. So Vite build runs and then Electron Builder runs. So Vite Builder is going to build like the Vite dev server into like a production ready dev server. And you have Electron Builder that's going to be building everything that you need for the Electron stuff. So one thing from the last video that I told you guys we could do um, is use Electron DevTools installer as a dev dependency. Um, I'm actually wrong in that sense. Uh, we actually need to install that as a regular dependency. So let's go ahead and control C, we'll backspace out and We'll just go and move it down here to, to there, the dependencies. Um, if we want to, we can alphabetize this if you ever so please or ever so choose to do so. so. We'll just throw it there if that's how you want to go with that. But there's that. So now that we've done that, we can go file, um, terminal, sorry, new terminal, and just npmi, make sure everything's good to go. So we should have no changes. Yep, up to date. Yep. So first things first, what we need to do, um, we need to go to our electron file. So this is the portion that um, I was just telling you about that if you didn't follow along the video, you can go ahead and skip this portion since we don't want to have the dev tools and stuff installed with Redux um, and, and so on and so forth. Uh, so I already had some of this set up. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to change what I have set up. We're going to be using this process env byte dev server URL instead of this, um, the process env node environment. So we're going to be using, um, where we're going to be doing this is in the app dot when ready, we want to register IPC handlers. Then we want to run this check. And then this redux dev tools dot map extension that we added in the last video, go ahead and paste that in here. Um, so this basically is saying if our application is not a uh, development application, then we want to not install the, the uh, extension. So if it is a dev, dev app, which is, you know, the dev server URL will be um, in the tokens and the environment tokens, um, then we want to use Redux dev tools .map. Now a non-traditional or a traditional way that you could do this if you weren't using Vite, um, you would do if process.env dot um, node env equals development, right? And then you would just paste this code into here, right? You would you put this stuff in here instead. Um, I'll quickly show you um, how to set this up with the build script. Um, it is out of the scope of this video, or I mean, it's not really out of the scope of this one, but we won't be using it in this video since this is a Vite video and Vite already gives you dev server URL. Um, so we'll go ahead and quickly um, show you how to set that up. So for Windows, if you're running this on a Windows machine, you're gonna type in set node underscore env 
and you just want to say equals um, production. If this is if you are developing it for a production build, if you are not, then just put development here. All right. Um, if you're on a Mac device or on a Linux device, you'll just get rid of this set and you'll just leave no DNB equals production and then you'll leave the rest. But since we're on Windows, we'll leave it as set. Um, like I said, if I wasn't using Byte, I would definitely leave this there. Um, but since I'm using Byte, um, I'm not, I don't need that. So what we want to do is we want to come back here, save the index file. I should get rid of this first and then save the index. And now we just want to do npm run build. Now this is going to start building your application. It's going to download all the binaries and stuff that you need. Um, it's going to package it all into a... Uh, installer, you'll see a few folders pop up with disk, disk electron, and you have a release folder. The release folder is where everything is going to be um, for your application. This is 2.1.0 because the boilerplates version is 2.1.0 and I never changed it, but if you wanted to change the version, you could do this. But we'll go over um, some of that stuff here in a moment. All right, so now that it's done building, we can go into release. Uh, I'm just gonna right click and do reveal in file explorer and release 2.1.0. And now we have all these files. So the one that we care about is this electron byte react 2.1.0 exe, double click that. I'm gonna install it only for me. And let's go ahead and install. Um, so I did this once already um, to verify that everything was working as it should. Um, so I'm just going to have to click that dialog that popped up. You shouldn't have to click that. And once that's done, we hit finish and it should launch. We should see our electron byte react. So in the last video, we set up this increase decrease with the current state count. So if we hit increase, we should see all that stuff increase still and decrease. Um, yeah. That is uh, building the electron byte app. So let's go over a couple other things within the um, uh, package JSON. So if we want to change the name of our application, let's just do um, my electron byte app. I don't think you're supposed to actually have, yeah. It does not want spaces at all. Not want anything. All right, so let's just do my tag, electron tag, by tag. Right, and then we can change our version here. Uh, we can change this to say like, you know, if we just wanted to do 1.0.0 at development or something, right? Um, or we can just leave it at 1.0.0 for doing like a production release. Um, then what we can do is we can run npm run build again, and it will rebuild and repackage everything with the current changes that we have. Um, and we should see in release, we should see a 1.0.0. We have 2.1.0 and 1.0.0. Now, if you are doing this in a Git, in a Git repository, there is a Git ignore here. Um, I would definitely recommend doing release, you know, commenting that out, commenting out dist, as well as dist back electron. I would recommend doing stuff like this. So that way these files um, will be ignored. So that, that release file will be ignored, the dist and dist electron will be ignored. Um, now that this is finished, let's go ahead and reveal this in the file explorer. Let's open 1.0.0. We'll run my electron byte app, hit next, hit install. And it should install. Now it says run my electron byte app. We can hit finish. And there we go. I have increased, we have decrease. You can verify that all this stuff's working. And there you guys go. That is building and running the Electron Byte application from the package JSON command line. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Remember to like, comment, subscribe for more content. Let me know in the comments below what you guys want to see because I can create videos and stuff you guys want to learn. Um, and just, yeah, let me know. And peace out.